Welcome to my channel. I'm Zhang Jingxu. Let's work on the problem 59 in chapter 4. In this one, we can see in this system, we have three objects A, B, C, right? And then we have the external force F acting on it. And then in this uh, object, when this, when this system is moving, and then we see the mass A does, does not move relative to the C, so A and C are kept the same acceleration. And then we can see the B never hit the C. This is the whole system. And we can see we can consider this three object A, B, C as a united one. And as united one, because A not, uh, not move relative to C and B not move to C. So they keep the same acceleration. Do you agree? Yes. So in this one, we can do force analysis. First thing for uh, object B, we have gravity, we have the tension. And then because we have the tension, so we must have the, uh, so we can project this tension in X component and Y component. We assume this angle theta. This is angle theta. So we have Ft sine theta and Ft cosine theta. Because when we consider it as united, there is only external force acting on it. So acceleration is horizontal. So in this way, we have this one. And then we look at the object A. A, we must have gravity, the normal force, and then the tension from this cable. And the tension from the cable is equal in magnitude because this cable is massless. Now, we need to solve the problems. Um, determine the magnitude of force of F. That means this F, we consider Newton's third law, must equal to the total mass, ma plus mc plus mb, the total mass times the acceleration. Do you agree? And the acceleration for, for a equals b equals c because they are, that they does not move relative to each other. So the most easy way we look at object b, so we can apply Newton's second law to solve it. You can see at the first, at the vertical component, we have ft cosine theta minus the gravity equals zero. And then at the horizontal, we have Ft times sine theta equals mass times acceleration. Uh, the, then we look at the object B. And object B, you can see the, the only force acting on it in horizontal is Ft. So Ft equals mass times acceleration. So we have these three equations and then we can solve the acceleration. From these two, we can get this acceleration equals g tangent theta, right? g tangent theta. But it looks like we solve the problem because we know acceleration. Just use the total mass times acceleration, we are done. But there is a problem. We don't know angle theta. So we need to solve the angle theta in these two equations. In these two equations, we can say we use this equation divided by this one. We can get a sine theta equals mb divided by ma. Do you agree? Yes. Now you know sine theta, can you find the tangent theta? Yes, the most easy way is you draw the triangle. See, you draw the triangle, this side MB, this side MA, so this angle is theta, agree? Because the sine theta is MB divided by MA. And then we can see this is the right angle. So you can get this side is the squared, MA squared minus MB squared. Now can you find the tangent theta? Sure, very easy, because tangent theta is the this side divided by this side. So mb divided by squared, ma squared minus mb squared. Then we input the tangent theta inside, we get the acceleration. Now you see, after you get the acceleration, in known quantities, ma, mb, mc, can you find the external force f? Yes, because external f equals the total mass times acceleration. You input acceleration, then you are done. This is how we solve the problems. Thank you.